the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much, and let's dig in the video. What's up, XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. As I started yesterday, guys, for the first time after like one month. So, there's a lot of things, guys, that is happening right now. And we have to say what we have to say. So, this is a very dangerous thing that happened today, guys. It's $1.98 trillion market cap of the whole cryptocurrency uh space this is not a good sign and if you watched my latest video of like a month ago guys i i really told you guys to take some profits especially when ethereum uh broke all-time high again and then actually went down immediately under the line i really said in my video like take some profits and a lot of people were thinking that we were gonna bounce back but look what happening now guys so it's 42,000 for Bitcoin and it's 3,200 for Ethereum. Now we can still bounce back. It's still possible, but it's, it's very, very unlikely guys. But that doesn't mean that XRP is going to do the same because we know guys XRP is trading at 76 cents and we know that XRP can just turn out of nowhere, neglecting the whole market. Okay. Because that's just the utility there. And once this case is over, it's going to really do that. So remember, XRP didn't break all time high yet. It still has to do that. And I think it will. But let's see what happens. So let's dig in the news, guys, because it's really interesting. Remember, this is what Brad Garlinghouse said in his interview. Let's take a look. Slow moving judicial process in the federal courts. You know, clearly we're seeing good questions asked by the judge. And I think the judge realizes this is not just about Ripple. This will have broader implications. And I think that's a very good thing. I'm hopeful that, you know, certainly in 2022, there'll be closure here. But look, I, I think... Certainly in 2022. So remember, if we are going down, we are heading in a bear market. And I'm talking about a global bear market, which is bad for the overall space. But if, it, if there is clarity, certainly in 2022, what do you think XRP will do? It will definitely surprise us for sure. Now, guys, listen, I'm going to try to make two videos every day. So stay tuned. The other video is going to be about whole crypto in general. OK, not about XRP, because I want to talk more about crypto, DeFi, other crypto coins, metaverse coins. A lot of stuff is coming. So please tune in, guys. I'm going to try making two videos every day and one about XRP and one about crypto in general. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys, because it's getting very interesting. Here we have XRP on the daily is currently consolidating at the moment. Price is bullish and now sitting at a strong demand zone. Bulls are expected to buy up all supply at the zone and price to rally to the upside and we see a run in price targeting 2.31 cents this is looking very good but listen guys trend lines are subjective they don't mean anything they're just drawing they're just drawn by people okay of course they give their guidelines but they are not absolute okay so remember that this can play out it doesn't have to be but it's very likely guys because xrp is looking tremendously good and as i told you i think that the lawsuit will finish end of january but let's see xrp lawsuit make or break ruling for ripple ahead conference transcript released why investors didn't know xrp would be treated as securities now you know that there has been a lot going on guys i'm not going to read everything here but let's just take the summary here and see what is happening judge ruling right around the corner the court ruled it would have the SEC's internal documents handed over so the judge could decide whether there was enough ground to grant Ripple's motion to compel. The hearing was in late August and the court has ruled over many other motions afterward and presided over the expert discovery that included testimony of 16 experts. The release of transcript might signal that the judge's ruling over Ripple's motion to compel the SEC to hand over internal deliberations is right around the corner. This motion is a make or break for Ripple's fair notice defense. Very interesting. Okay, so 
we are heading towards the end of this thing guys and i know that we have been saying that for a while but just when no one is expecting it it will happen and that's happening right now ripple a founding member of digital pound foundation have released a new report the future of cbdc's check it out definitely check it out guys this has been promoted all these year all the year of 2021 has been promoted the white paper for cbdc's because they know it's just around the corner on january so this is a very good threat from johnny deaton if you have the time guys go and read the whole threat i'm not gonna go through all of this guys because it's just too much it's gonna take too much time okay it's not about the token itself on january 1 2021 i sued the sec it was nine days after the sec sued ripple declaring xrp including xrp traded in the secondary market investment contracts with ripple i argued from the beginning the conflicts and appearances of impro impropriety so let's just go down and just take out some interesting stuff okay let's let's take this we must unite against the sec's lack of clarity and overreach what we all should want is a fair and level playing field in the free market with the best technologies prevailing if xrp turns out to be a bad investment it should be because there are better alternatives now listen guys johnny deaton is fighting and fighting through this and we are all fighting the whole xrp community didn't stop fighting from the beginning and it has been a year now over a year my god that's just imagine a year of fighting and no one is listening but these guys they just have too much power and then they'll give a shit about ripple they just think about their own pockets so keep that in mind guys it's gonna be it's gonna be just a matter of time before we face clarity will xrp see a new all-time high this month let me know guys in the comments what you think what is your opinion do you think that xrp is gonna go up or do you think that we're heading in this beer market and that xrp will not have a chance to actually reach its all-time high let's let me know i want to know your opinion i'll say this only once but having despair as it is currently in the xrp community at the top of a four-year cup and handle pattern formation feels kind of bullish to me time will tell exactly so there's many patterns really showing us guys that xrp is ready to move okay and it's not just about ready to move guys here it's about whole crypto now this is not just a matter of xrp anymore if xrp wins it will be the first cryptocurrency to actually won a lawsuit which will be good for the whole crypto space. And we need it right now. You can tell by looking at the charts. So let's hope that XRP is going to be our hero. Wow, I just ran number in terms of mirroring percentages from the 2017 bull run. If we run in the same terms of percentage over the 4.23, we could be looking at $150 XRP by the end of this bull run for XRP. Now, we are not in a bull run anymore that's clear okay but it, again xrp is a different animal and we know that xrp can actually lead the market with this lawsuit and let's hope that that happens guys if you are in doubt zoom out the chart and you will see that xrp is looking tremendously good right here right now so i'm just filling up my bags guys i'm not complaining i'm serious like the you have to be you have to take your profits and be safe first this is something very very important okay but i did that i did that guys when i saw all-time high break again and again and again so you have to really understand so this is something interesting because ben armstrong will talk on today's morning live stream december jobs report miss btc price and three-year low dominance xrp death cross what is that so okay guys let me explain xrp death cross means that there's two moving averages so usually when these moving averages cross it means the death cross why so they can they can cross downwards and upwards when it crosses upwards it's a good sign the funny thing is when xrp made its last death cross it blew up a crazy amount of percentage and it's happening now again unfortunately i cannot show you on the charts because i don't have it right here but 
you can search it up and the death cross is literally happening right now so after the death cross happens last time it went to all-time high and blew thousands of percentages up so let's see guys what will happen a lot of indicators small indicators telling us that xrp will break all-time high but who knows in the end guys no one knows let no one tell you otherwise we are most likely heading in a bear market guys in crypto in general okay we can still pop back up but i will tell you more about that in my other video so be sure to check it out thank you very much for being here today and i see you in the next one cheers